Hello everybody, this is James with RPG Flavor Text hooking up another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully the audio is working. I've been having audio problems for the past, I don't know, week, two weeks, something like that, which is why I didn't put out a video last week. But today we are exploring the Avengers, specifically the ones in Infinity War, and what RPG class would they be in D&D? Let's find out. Spoiler warning. This video has spoilers for Avengers Infinity War. If you have not seen it, go watch it. What are you doing watching my videos and not watching Infinity War? Go watch Infinity War. Come back and watch my video. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Quick side note. I did not include the Guardians of the Galaxy in here because... They get really, they're, a lot of them are kind of more on the technological side and like with Star-Lord and Rocket Raccoon and I kind of didn't want to jump into that rabbit hole, raccoon hole. Also, there's already a lot of people, so I didn't want to overwhelm it. Maybe I'll do a separate one with Guardians of the Galaxy later. But right now, we're talking about the Avengers. So first off, we are starting out with knocking out three of them in a row, and people are going to be probably annoyed with me because I'm taking an easy route out. Captain America, Black Panther, Winter Soldier. They're all fighters. Somewhere between 11th to 15th level. I looked it up. They're somewhere in there. Black Panther, Captain America, 100%, 100% Battle Masters. They've got the maneuvers. They've got the attacks. They're inspiring leaders. They're helping each other out. Definitely battle masters. I think Winter Soldier is more in line with the champion. He is more about the brute force and attacking than kind of being a leader in the fight and, and using strategy in it. I think that's more Captain America, Black Panther side. Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. We're talking about a champion. I think that makes sense. Next, Thor. Thor was difficult because Thor's got kind of a magical element to him, but he's such a bruiser. He's obviously 20th level. I don't think you can argue that. Thor is powerful. Barbarian. I want Barbarian. He's got a bit of an angry side, especially if you start looking in the comics when he goes kind of uh, unworthy Thor. He's very, very violent, especially when younger. And I went Barbarian 20th level Storm Herald. And he's, of course, rocking the homebrewed Dwarven Thrower because apparently his Dwarven Thrower lets him fly and cast lightning. So it's a little bit more intense than your standard Dwarven Thrower, but that's definitely what he's working with there. Next, we got Iron Man. Iron Man's rocking. Tony Stark is rocking his own homebrewed Artificer class. Basically, I think if you took the standard artificer class where he builds a robot and you took the ability of the robot and just put it on himself. That's what he's working with. And I kind of want to build a super suit robot, magic robot artificer. Maybe I'll homebrew it, put it out. Let me know what you think. It'll be the Iron Man class. Let's be real. Now we have the Hulk. Hulk and Thor. They fought each other in Ragnarok. It was a pretty even fight, so I have to put Hulk at 20th level too. Also, when you start looking in the comics, there's no question Hulk is one of the most powerful beings in the galaxy. So for the Hulk, I'm putting him at Barbarian. He's a berserker. He's got Frenzy Rage, Unlimited Rage on lockdown. 20th level, dealing the brutal criticals. He's got the plus four strength, plus four constitution. He is a monster, and he is the embodiment of a barbarian when he goes into rage. And the fact that the rage doesn't end, that's the whole point of Ragnarok. He gets in that rage phase, and then he does not come out of it. Hulk, barbarian, berserker, 20th level. Now we're going to some of the other ones. Hawkeye. Hawkeye's a fighter. Hawkeye, some people will be like, he's a ranger. No, rangers cast magical spells. Hawkeye doesn't cast magical spells, okay? But I did give him a slight magical twist, and I gave him the Arcane Archer class that recently came out with Xanathar's Guide to Everything, mostly because at 7th level, 
arcane archers get curving shot. We've seen him make curving shots. I believe it was in one of the first th the first Thor movie when Thor is going to get his hammer. You see Hawkeye do a curving shot. He does it a couple other times in the battle in New York. He does the curving shots. I think you could argue up to an 11th level for Hawkeye. He's got the speed increase. That three shots at once, one turn. I think I think that Hawkeye has that speed. You could argue him up to an 11th level arcane archer. And he 100% took the sharpshooter trait. He skipped one of the ability score improvements and took a sharpshooter. Or he's a human variant. One of the two. Now we have Spider-Man. Spider-Man's a weird one because he's definitely got magic items. That's the only way you could be shooting those uh, webs out like that and still do a lot of the things. The other way you could argue it is maybe he dipped a little bit into a warlock or sorcerer class and got some base level magic. But to me, Spider-Man is a rogue thief. 14th level for sure. The sensing unseen things that's totally in line with the spidey sense. But you could talk me into 17th level with the reflexes of the rogue and the thief. Spider-Man's got them advanced reflexes. You could talk me up to 17th level. That's a little strong. That's a lot of damage. But I think you could say 14th level. And I will say with Spider-Man, Black Widow who's also a rogue. I have Black Widow listed as a rogue assassin. She's 100% 9th level. I put Hawkeye at 11th level, so I'd probably bump Black Widow up to 11th level. Black Widow's just as powerful as Hawkeye, if not more powerful, and she's awesome. Anyway, Spider-Man, Black Widow, probably, you could maybe say the Hulk. I wouldn't. Captain America, Black Panther, you could argue they took one or two levels and monk in there somewhere also. That they've got some because they've got a lot of the hand to hand combat they do really well. So I would say Black Widow and Spider Man especially probably took one or two levels in Rogue. So I'd say maybe Black Widow's a ninth level Rogue Assassin with three levels of monk in there. Just wave the fist. Wave the fist, monk. Definitely. And then lastly, I believe nope, second to last. We have a little bit of a weird one. We have Scarlet Witch first, which normally when you hear witch, you think that's an, you know, the female version of a wizard. And I'm not making Scarlet Witch a wizard. It's part of her blood. It's part of who she is. That's where the magic comes from. So I'm giving her sorcerer. I think she's wild magic sorcerer because especially in the beginning, she had no control over it. It was bursts. It would be powerful in certain instances. And by the end of Infinity War, I think she's she's bumping on a level 18. She's got that control. She's able to deal that extra damage to be able to do some of the stuff she does at the end of Infinity War. At the end of Infinity War, she's got to be one of the more powerful individuals. I'm thinking around 18th level. I think that's a good spot to put Scarlet Witch. Then we have Doctor Strange. The Sorcerer Supreme is not a sorcerer. He, did, he was not innately endowed with this magic ability. He didn't make a pact with somebody like a warlock. Doctor Strange is a wizard. He did it through study and learning and reading books. And he cast intricate spells every single time. Doctor Strange is a wizard. I'm going to say School of Abjuration. We see him doing a lot of travel with the gates. He's kind of got a very heavy focus on protecting this plane and protecting this world and traveling around. So I'm giving him abjuration. I think he is definitely 17th to 20th level. He's got 9th level spells. He just wasn't intelligent enough to take wish. He had, we've seen, I'm pretty sure we've seen Gate, him precisely showing up on another plane of existence. He's had time stop. We've seen him stop time briefly. He has astral projection. We've seen him travel into other places while his body stays in one place. And he definitely has foresight as seen in Infinity War. He's able to figure out the outcomes. I almost, because of that one scene, put him at divination. But the gates and abjuration just made too much sense to me that I think you have to put Doctor Strange as a school of abjuration. So, that's 
the Avengers I did. I probably missed some. I tried to get the major players. I didn't do Guardians of the Galaxy because I already am doing a lot of different people. Maybe I'll take two or three of these and I'll spin up. I'll do a video where I turn them into actual character sheets and I make a Doctor Strange character sheet. I make a Thor character sheet or a Captain America sheet. Let's see, if you really enjoy this, let me know, like the video, tell me if you think I got it wrong. What classes do you think they are? Did I put them at too high level? I think by Infinity War, they've been through the campaign. They've gone through a couple arcs. They're high level at this point. Let me know down below if you think I screwed something up. What about the other Avengers? Guardians of the Galaxy, the individuals I'd missed. There were so many people in Infinity War. Let me know down below what you think and let me know which individuals you'd like to see me make an actual character sheet for. Thank you so much for watching. This has been James with RPG Flavor Text. We will see you later.